Dakota. Dakota is two months old. Um, Mackenzie brought her home. She bought her. She is a great mountain Pyrenees and I have a feeling she's going to get really big because of the size that she's already at. Aren't ya? And I gave her a rag to chew on so that, um, so that she doesn't chew on anything else. But Mackenzie is at work right now, and so I am dog sitting, I guess is what you say, because this is Mackenzie's dog. Um, anyways, um, but when Mackenzie gets back, she's gonna um, do a little shopping for the puppy and get her some treats and stuff so we can start training her. She is going to be a guard dog, a cattle dog, a farm dog and most likely be an outside dog. She does love being outside. Um, she never wants to come back in, but we don't want to lose her or anything, so we are uh, letting her in the house. She just came in a little bit ago. She isn't super playful, um, but yet we haven't even had her 24 hours, so she's still getting to know us, and uh, <laughs> Did you get it caught in your tooth? Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, it takes some time to get bonded, but she came from a litter of nine. And this is a little girl. Her name's Dakota. Hi, baby. You say hi, too. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, so much fun. What does he do to you? Dakota, look at me. No, I gotta see if you're good out. Hi, look at oh. you. Oh. <laughs> what is that? Do you have a charge in the kitchen? Not too fast to get out. Very well. Oh, so it's 30 seconds. What is this supposed to be? Dakota's having too much Christmas fun. Yeah. Sydney. It's a little dog. What is it? Paper. Now we got paper. Make sure she don't eat any of that, can they? Because tissue paper. <laughs> Do you even know how to put it together? Oh, the directions. That's a good thing. Look at all the pieces this kid has. Can you tell him what it is? 3D printer. What? 3D printer. A 3D printer. So he's going to make stuff. Yeah. With some type of plastic filament. Yeah. I hope he knows what he's doing because... I don't. When I bought it, I didn't know what... <laughs> I didn't know it was all in pieces. I figured it was just put together. Oh. I watch YouTube videos. Okay, good. It's the only way to learn sometimes. 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 Sanders has his 3D printer going. This is what it looks like. And uh, he chose the floor here to operate it. What are we making? A dog. A dog, a 3D had a, dog. It had a selection between a dog and a pig and something else. I don't know what the other thing was. Or are these supposed to be yeah. on there? Oh. Yeah. They hold that plate on because it's a. Uh, 
Because under that, there's an aluminum plate that gets heated. So oh. the plastic doesn't really stick. Oh. So it's easier to come off. So this is the filament roll. Yeah. And this is, he's using black. It's like plastic. Mm -hmm. Comes down here. And then what? There's a motor here that slowly shoves it through this hose. And then it gets shoved Through that white hose? Yeah. It's oh. shoved through the tip. And then and the tip's heated to 200 degrees. So it kind of melts that plastic. Mm -hmm. And then it quickly, uh, it quickly hardens as soon as it comes out. So that's that working? pretty good. It's and how of, long is this gonna take? 2.5 hours. 2.5 hours to make a what? It's a dog. A dog. It's about yay high. Yeah. So that will keep moving upwards like mm -hmm. oh it slowly gets moved up and it just keeps layer after layer huh we'll show it to you guys so when it's all finished 32 percent done and has been going for 48 minutes ah 32 percent got a ways to go yeah mm -hmm. that's pretty up. neat It would take a lot longer if it was a full salad, but it's got, um, like, waffle oh, bracing. Oh, yeah. So it's not going to be full salad. It's not solid. But it, can it do full salad? Yeah. Oh. Pretty cool. Is this what you wanted? Yeah. It's got auto-resume printing. I think that's for in case if the power goes off and it just shuts the whole thing down. When you start it back up, it should. It resume. should resume where it was left off. Mm -hmm. Ah. Without having to scrape it off and redo it. Yeah. But, yeah. Comes with an SD card reader. Ah. Plug into your computer. So, so what can you make out of these? Anything or? Anything that'll fit in this square area, the rectangle. Is it made out of rubber? No. Plastic. Well, thanks for sharing. We'll show you guys when, when it's complete in a couple hours. <laughs> Where are we at? 99% done. 99? Working on the head. You look like a dog? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. We're about ready to go outside because it's chore time. Yeah. And we've been waiting for this thing <laughs> to finish up. <laughs> yeah. It's almost done. Let's see if we can see what it says. See that? It says 99% finished. And that's how long it has taken. It has taken two, two hours, hours and 57 50 minutes. To make this dog. <laughs> yep. I think the ears are done. And it's done. There you go. There you go. Your puppy is finished. Let me take a scraper. Is it stuck to the bottom? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, it's not like a rubber. I thought maybe it would be more of a rubber feel, but it's plastic. And there's that bottom plate that it was on. So it started with this? Yeah. But it wasn't connected to it. Mm. I think That's it unique. Was supposed to be. Oh. I don't. I actually don't think because no, it's not. No. I don't. Bottom. Yeah, I don't think so. Fine. It doesn't look like it was 3D printed. It really doesn't. It's got a few sharp edges. What's you gonna make next? I can't. Really. You don't well, know yet. Tomorrow I might try to pig. Oh, okay. 
Pretty cool. All right, some of our viewers have uh, asked questions about this curtain system that we use. Um, I know in other countries there must be other ways of doing things than what we do here in the United States. And this system here is a curtain that rolls up from the bottom. It's nailed with a lap board at the top. And the weight of the curtain is pretty much you cut it to length to hold so the pipe holds it down. And some people, they will leave it up from the eyeballs a little bit. I like to leave it so it's right at the eyeball. And then we, uh, the metal shaft that slid through. The is, pipe. Which is called a pipe, <laughs> as my wife would say. <laughs> it's a hollow pipe. It's an inch and uh, three eighths pipe, I do believe. But they're held on with these aluminum clips. And these aluminum clips are held on with a self-tapping screw. And we like to have these clips every, I would say about every 12 feet, 10 to 12 feet. So as you go along, you'll see that we have clips about well, every 10, 12 feet or so. And then what we do for wind, on the inside you have your poles and then some people use like a cable system. Um, they put a cable every so far. We use cable and sometimes we use like a wire mesh. Um, if I roll it up here, we'll show it to you in a moment. So there's two different ways of holding it on the inside. And then on the outside, these are called billow ropes or wind bracing. And these here are done every four foot. And today there's kind of a, for us, there's a little bit of a southeast wind, so that's why the, the curtain is blowing out against the wind bracing. So if you come down with me to the end, I'll show you how the curtain is held when you roll it up. Hold it out. I can tie my envelopes too. So, hi everyone. On the ends here, to close up the ends to make it look kind of neat and orderly, we have a skid loader coming. It's one of our skid series. There he is. That's fun. And this is doing some chores. Yeah, he, uh, he likes doing chores. We give him things to do, and he likes that. So. So to make this kind of cap the end off and make it kind of neat and orderly. We protect build, the curtain. Yeah, protect the end. Wise words. Okay. My narrator. <laughs> <laughs> that we will build a box like this. Um, this one is made out of two by fours and then it's got a, a hanger that we build on the end. That way it just uh, kind of makes it look nice and a little orderly versus uh, just leaving the end of it open for the otherwise the wind will catch in here it, it can catch in and blow in and this just seals it up it, it makes it makes it hold up a lot better so as you can kind of see in there it's yeah. not sealed completely not completely but there's a little opening for it to uh but that's for your curtain yeah you have to so have now now, you know, somebody asked, how do we hold these curtains up? If you look at the system we got here, the pipe is fastened to what we would call a U-joint or a cross. And when we roll this up, and I'll show you here just in a second, I'll show you how that works. So now that the curtain's rolled up, I look at the U joint there. What we do to keep it from unrolling back down is we is we just cross it like that. 
So now it won't go anywhere. Nope, it won't go down or up. And so, show how the handle is there. So that's not going anywhere. No. So now, if we come back here, I'll show you the wind bracing. Um, these are the cables. They use like a plastic coated cable. That's some of the old first original ways of doing it because this barn here has been here since uh, uh, probably it's 25 years ago that this was done so we're still using some of the original but if you come down here to the end hi Mr. Pigeon um, here on the end this is what a lot of the people are going to on the bottom part is they're using this plastic coated two by two wire mesh and that way the cattle can't push against it or lick on the curtain because cattle will lick the ends of the curtain off but uh yeah so that's that's the other style of wind bracing so you that's what i use in the calf barns um and calves can't also get their head caught in that too yeah so it's kind of, um, with this system, you can use it. I mean, there's there's creative ways of do, doing it. I've seen a few different styles, but uh, um, there's really, if you can think of it and it works, there's kind of really no unlimited yeah. way of doing it. So for cost-wise, this curtain here, um, for each section like this, you're looking at about five dollars a foot to do it so it's not real expensive for us for us yeah. here so now i'm going to take you to another barn and show you a different style of wind bracing so this is another style of wind bracing that instead of using a rope they use these uh metal pipes and they have a bracket at the top and a bracket here at the bottom and the weight of the pipe holds this curtain tight, very similar to the other design. Um, me personally, I kind of like this design better because it's kind of just neater and cleaner. And uh, you don't have to deal with ropes breaking. But uh, same with the envelopes here on the end. Uh, you can buy a double hem piece of curtain that has two pipes go through it and you use the same brackets so it's a very simple setup this these curtains are about four years old so um from being 25 years to four years they've come up with better ideas on how to protect the ends of the curtains yep so there you have it kind of a curtain tour <laughs>